Hey, what's going on? And today I'm doing a quick video on this Third Powers plugin called 3D Sticker. I saw this, this Third Powers company, they're really doing great. And what's fascinating is they've already got the 2020 there. I guess they've already checked their plugins and they're compatible with 2020. So I don't think too much changed in Lightwave 2020 in terms of modeler. So the plugin, they probably didn't have to change too much of their code. But this plugin was one of the ones that really appealed to me with the 3D sticker. And then there's another one here that I'll probably get this Lightwave brush. They're a little pricey, but I think they're worth it. So I want to show you why I got this. And I think one of the things that I liked about it was the idea that you could have two pieces of geometry and literally stick one onto another and not have to worry about trying to mesh them or anything like that. And that really appealed to me. So let me show you how this plugin works. To start, we're just going to go ahead and make a ball, just a simple ball. And I'll hit N and I'll just make sure my everything is the same here. Um, we can just go into the surface editor here and we'll turn on smoothing and there we go and I'll hit enter and then I'll hit F2 and I'll just center it there. Then what I'll do is I'll go into the second layer and now what I'll do is I'm just going to make a capsule. So in your foreground layer is the object that you want to stick something onto and in your background layer that's the layer that you're going to be sticking onto something else. Oh, so here I think I'll just make a capsule, a real simple capsule like that. I'll just hit enter. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to, I'm being in the back view and I'm just going to zoom in here a little bit and I'm just going to go ahead and right click and select when I miss some polygons here, I'll hold shift and get the rest of them. And I'll just delete those. And now I'm going to go on to point and I'm going to select these there. And then I'll hit P to create a polygon. Should see it pop in there. And there's a polygon. I don't have any tools selected now. Drop my tools, go back on to polygon here, and I'll deselect. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave that there. I can try to put this on F2 and see what happens. We'll center it too. Now what we'll do is we'll go click back on the top part of the first layer and then the, hit the bottom of the second layer and we'll see our foreground and our background object. And then all you've got to do, and this is pretty easy, is come over here to where you've installed third powers right there. Click on 3D sticker and then just click on the object. And believe it or not, that easy. Now watch this. I'll just, let me expand this view out and hit A, we'll zoom in a little bit. Now to move this, all you really have to do is click and drag and just put it wherever you want to put it. Now there's some controls on here. Let me hit A again. This is really great because you can put some pretty complex geometry and combine it together and really mesh them together, merge them together pretty seamlessly. And what I realized I could do with this is I can actually get a robot. On one of my tutorials, I have a Mixamo character, the robot's head, and I'm, I drew eyes on there. But here I was thinking, I could actually just put eyes onto the actual rig using this tool. Now I'll just go over some of the tools on here. I'm still actually experimenting with some of them, but if you hit N, it brings up the control panel and free is what exactly what it means is that you can just drag it all over the place. And I think that's probably the default mode that you'd want to be in. Now there is this tool here, this, uh, grid type quad and what that does it confines it to a quad so when you click again you literally can find it to that quadrant so that could be real handy for something too so you could actually deform it so that it fits in there and you can really get wild and come up with some crazy stuff pretty easy using this tool so that's fantastic if i'm on free i have this operation to translate and slide so if i click again there's the object i can resize it using these handles like that. And then if I come down here, I check on slide, I, this opens up an option here for me. Now, what I noticed with this one is it gives you this brush. So if I click here, you see this is a brush. So what it does is it allows you to deform that grid. See that? So you just play with these settings. You have some presets here, ease in, ease out, smooth, but this is all in how you would deform the grid. So if I change my brush size, bring it down, notice I click my brush size is a little bit smaller. So what this tool does, this brush, is it allows you to gently nudge or deform your geometry in subtle ways, which is really great. And then of course you've got height you can adjust the height up and then you can actually adjust the offset from where it's merged or combined. You can raise it actually up a little bit or you can sink it in a little bit. So that's absolutely fantastic. So I was talking about putting an eye on a robot. That's actually how I could do it. So that's really, really great. And then the other ones here, of course, retain dimensions is retain dimensions. The only other option I noticed on here is you've got deform and place. So this is the mode we're in right now where you kind of just can freestyle the format, but then you can also set where you want to place it so you can put it and if you just treat it as one piece you can set it on a z or the 
X. So it just gives you kind of a more mechanical way to reset it. And then you can do it, flatten it out. So <laughs> you can really just come in here and really deform the geometry in a number of creative ways. The possibilities are limitless. And this is an absolutely fantastic tool, this 3D sticker. So I think Third Powers is fantastic and they've really got some amazing tools. And someday I would actually like to see New Tech buy them out and just incorporate their tools into Lightwave because it's a fantastic tool set. Anyway, I just wanted to make this quick video on this using this plugin and I think it's really, really great and has a lot of utility. So take care and I'll talk to you later.